Children Who Labor is an American short film that was released in 1912. There's a lot of symbolism in this one. Um, it starts off with children going into the factory. They raise their hands up to like a political cartoon of Uncle Sam. And then the clouds morph into the word greed. Yeah, really symbolic. <laughs> now, one thing is that you get to see Charles Ogle, who was, of course, known for his portrayal of Frankenstein. Uh, he plays the warden of the prison in this one. You also see uh, Shirley Mason. A lot of her films did not survive, but she plays uh, the little girl of uh, the owner of the factory in this one. Now her sister is in this as well, her older sister. She plays the immigrant's older daughter. And so, yeah, quite a cast in this one. <laughs> now, as the story goes, there's an immigrant family and they don't want their uh, children to work. So the the husband is trying to find work and everything, but finally they have to accept that they have to let their older daughter who is, of course, uh, Viola Dan uh, Dana. She has to go in and start working at the mill or factory. And at the same time, the owner uh, is built, buying up all these different factories and everything. You know, he's doing his thing. Well, his wife talks about how she and the daughter uh, uh, Mabel are going to go on a trip. Well, at this during this trip, Mabel gets lost and meets up with this family who takes care of her and ends up working at the mills, the very mills that her dad works at. And the story goes on from there and everything. Now, the thing is, is this is very real. Okay, I'm I'm sure I'm stating the obvious there, but um, I'm sure this happened more than we know. You know, the the kids were runaways, and they ended up a lot of them were rich kids, and so they ended up working at the very factories or mills that their parents owned. <laughs> it was just a it's just a thing. So um. Now, when I was looking at the reception, looking to see how people reacted to this movie, because, of course, this is also the same time that Lewis Hine was uh, capturing those iconic photos that we've seen of kids in the mills, kids in the fields, you know, the, the newsies and all of that. I expected to a lot of negativity. No. <laughs> people wanted child labor to be over. You know, I, I talked about Mother Jones in another video, and I mean, they were done with it. It turns out that there's other videos about this very uh, subject as well. So they were bringing Hollywood into it, trying to show the visuals of how terrible this is. Kids need to be out of the mills. So it was a very positive review. A lot of people were saying, and, and they loved the, the symbolism surrounding this movie. And, and uh, I, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. When Edison, because this was through Edison Studios, when Edison is not snatching from other people and he's actually original, he does very well. <laughs> so, so, yes, this... This was a very well done, as I butcher the English language, it was a well done film and for a subject that needed to be brought into the public eye. I mean, there there weren't very many negative reviews. I'm sure that there were negative reviews. There were gonna be those people that are gonna be like, well, this is this is life. This is how it how it is. You know, you're gonna have those people. And and everything. So 
anyway, this is Children Who Labor. It is a short film released in America through Edison Studios. It was released in 1912.